My name is Mr. Steve. I'm a storyteller. Hello, everybody. Mr. Steve here, and this is, I guess, a bit of a vlog to explain what has happened to us, to my family, and to the channel, really, over the past couple of days. So last week on the channel, we had a very successful week. It was my idea to do just a, a week of videos. And I had videos planned for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and Thursday, and Friday, and Saturday, and just, just the entire week of brand new, brand new videos, right? So this is what we ended up doing. We did uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then we stopped. And, you might be, and a lot of people contacted me on Facebook and Twitter and stuff asking what happened to the channel. Well, let me tell you what happened. <sighs> okay, so how do I explain this? Okay, so uh, my entire family got the coronavirus in October. Uh, one star, do not recommend. Not fun having the coronavirus. My my son, Maxwell, he's nine. He wants to be cool, so he calls it the co-virus. Thankfully, we all beat it, and we got all healthy, and the health department contacted us and let us know that we shouldn't be able to catch it again for another 90 days, but to still wash our hands, wear a mask, socially distance, and all that. And uh, we were under the belief that it was nigh impossible to get the coronavirus twice, that it was possible, but um, unlikely, I guess, is what we assume, that we should be good for now. Uh, on Friday, uh, on Thursday, one of my daughters spent the night at, a boy at their boyfriend's house. I'm not going to say which daughter. So on Thursday, they spent the night, and on Friday my daughter learned that the boyfriend had the coronavirus so she was isolated we got her a test and we learned over the weekend that the test was positive our daughter had got the coronavirus again but we we were very quick to learn about this and isolate her isolate her from the rest of the family wearing masks at home socially distancing washing our hands and we hoped that the rest of us avoided catching the coronavirus. But we all sort of assumed that if we live in a pretty small house, if one of us got the coronavirus, we all got the coronavirus. And, and one of my daughters had a positive, so more than likely we were all just going to go through this whole process again. So on Sunday... Uh, my wife and I and one of my other children went to go get a test. The first time that I got swabbed, they got that big long thing, put it on my nose, and then counted to ten, and then pulled it out, and that was it, and it felt weird. But this time, the guy stuck it in there, and then, Come on, baby, let's do the twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Like he was making cotton candy at the state fair. Is what it felt like in there. Completely different experience. I, I am sympathetic for toilets. You know, a toilet is clogged. You're cleaning the toilet. You get that big brush and you stick it in there. Yeah, our, nose, our noses were toilets. And he was trying to unplug it. We got chimney sweeped. We got nasally chimney sweeped. So, we, on Sunday we got tested, and then on Monday or Tuesday we were going to know the results. And late Monday night we got the results, and surprisingly they were negative. So, uh, just, she had it, and we were able to isolate that quickly, and so now we're just playing a waiting game. It's great to not have the coronavirus. I feel bad for her locked in a room. But, 
hey, we all don't have it. But that was, but that was a scare. That was a real scare for the family. So that took up all of the the plans that I had for this channel. I had a bunch of videos lined up, and then the coronavirus came again. I just don't understand. This isn't political. I just don't understand how people can be proud of not wearing a mask. Because you, you know why we're wearing masks? We're wearing masks to make sure that we protect other people. We're, we're wearing masks to be nice. We're wearing masks to help the less, the, the people out there that are mo the most susceptible to this disease. We're wearing masks to help those people. I'm one of those people. I have really bad asthma. And, and I'm really lucky to have survived the coronavirus. So I don't understand how there can be people out there, angry people that are upset that they have to wear masks. Wear masks. Wash your hands. Six feet. So, I, I just wanted to let you guys know about our second battle with the coronavirus. My wife got us some really nice... Uh, Masks. What, what are these called? NC-17 masks? KN-95 masks. These are like the, 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 the serious ones. Ooh, so. Yeah, we're taking it very seriously here at the house. And, and I hope you guys are taking the coronavirus seriously too, you know? And, and that's about it. Uh, this isn't the most exciting video in the world, but I just wanted to let you guys know what... The Mr. Steve household was dealing with, and now that, you know, it, we know that we don't have the coronavirus, and we have the coronavirus under control here in the house, I can get back to doing story time, so stay tuned tomorrow, we're going to have a very big story time. What are we going to read? I don't even know. I don't even know. What, what were the plans that I had before we started dealing with the coronavirus? I don't even know. I've got a big pile here. I've got a big pile here. You know what? I'm going to go on Twitter. And I'm going to put some of the videos up there. And for the next 24 hours, uh, yeah, I, I'm going to put up a poll. Go and check that out. Uh, Twitter.com slash. What's Mr. Steve's Twitter account? My personal account has like 1,400 followers. Mr. Steve's Twitter account only has like 50. Not that I'm upset about it. Maybe I'm a little bit. Twitter.com slash MRSteveStories. There's going to be a poll up there. I'm going to put it up right now so, so you guys can vote on what our, my next story time is going to be. So we're going to get back to doing some videos. Thanks for sticking with us. Thank you to all the new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure and like and subscribe and all those things I'm supposed to say. What are you doing over there? What are you doing? You're turning, you're turning the living room into... Okay, you are going to fall and hurt yourself. So please stop, okay? Okay? Stop doing that. And you're walking on things that aren't even yours. Okay? Don't walk, you don't walk on books. Okay? So stop doing that. Put everything away, please. Be sure and like and subscribe and all those things I'm supposed to say because I'm a guy on YouTube. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye! And we say bye-bye!